on a un événement qui est le village des écoles de cinéma. On fait venir plusieurs écoles de cinéma et notre idée, c'était de changer un peu par rapport à beaucoup de festivals qui ont juste une sélection de films d'école. Nous, c'était de mettre en valeur un peu les, les parents pauvres, on va dire, ou les, ceux qui sont moins mis en valeur dans les festivals, à savoir les jeunes élèves producteurs de ces écoles et de faire venir des couples réalisateurs-producteurs et de leur permettre pendant euh, 3-4 jours, une semaine, d'avoir de, des ateliers, de se rencontrer, de aussi rencontrer les, les autres professionnels. Le partnership est avec quatre films d'école. Donc, vous avez la Hungarian Film School, la Famis, la London Film School et la Danish Film School. Et donc, l'idée est de mettre ces étudiants, qui graduent de ces écoles, ensemble pour une semaine, afin de créer un network européen, européen, mais aussi pour les entendre ce que c'est dans chaque pays de leurs pays. And this year, we kind of set the task that they would have a project that then they would bring and that they would um, kind of workshop all week with uh, rotating workshops with directing, screenwriting, producing. And we invite experts from uh, all over Europe to teach. James is the producer and I am the director and we, I'm one of the writers. We have a, another writer, uh, John Crane, who is also our director of photography who sadly could not be with us at the moment, but that is... Yeah, it's a kind of three-way... Ménage à toi. Donc voilà, nous on sort de la FEMIS, on avait fait plusieurs films ensemble, en, moi en réalisation, Pierre-Emmanuel en production. Et donc là, ce sera notre premier film euh, long métrage en dehors de l'école. Et nous, notre projet, c'est un projet de... À la base, c'est une adaptation d'un bouquin de Beckett, et c'est une histoire de deux paumés pendant la Troisième Guerre mondiale qui cherchent à devenir empereur du Sahara, pour faire euh, rapide. Donc voilà, et cette semaine, donc on a vu que c'est quand même, ça paraît un peu énorme, quoi. Troisième Guerre mondiale, on part du Sahara, tout ça, enfin, donc des déplacements. C'est comment écrire le scénario et comment trouver des moyens de production et des moyens de, des processus de tournage qui rendent ça possible dans une économie petit budget. Quoi. My my project is my uh, graduating work because I graduated from the Hungarian Film Academy as a scriptwriter and uh, I'm working on this script since. Um, 2008, I think, and I, I was chosen by my producer in our um, graduating pitch. We came to Les Arc with our film Hamish the Bard, which is currently in development. Um, our tutors picked our film um, from a number that was submitted to them uh, as being a film which they would like to support uh, through production. Um, yeah, we're kind of, we're, we're about on our third, fourth draft of the script. We still have some issues with the script, but we uh, feel there is a lot in the film that will appeal to audiences in Scotland. And we've, we've been speaking to people during the week, producers from other countries, and they, they for them, Scotland is quite exotic. And uh, they think the, the story will have both a localised and a universal appeal. And the story is, uh, it's, a, it's a magical, realistic uh, coming of age story. It's uh, about a boy who, who is not, ex not um, accepted by his father <coughs> and um, he has man mental problems because of it. But one day his father um, dies and came back as a ghost, and comes back as a ghost, and they have to fix their relationship this way. So it's a kind of second possibility from the fate to fix their relationship. The meeting uh, around the projects uh, take, well, I've taken various forms during the whole week, basically three forms, I would say. Um, first, they, each student or each pair, director, producer, met four or five professionals uh, during the uh, co-production village, inside the co-production village. I mean, there were like 25 uh, tables with uh, each project, and they were part of it. They were inside of the, the co-production village, which is important, the geography of it. Then the second form was uh, the, the, the students were divided in three groups and they worked on their projects um, collectively. It means that they were pitching and explaining their ideas in front of the others and had the reactions not only of the professor, 
professional professor, of the professionals, but also, also from the, their fellow students. And that's important too because it's a, really another way to approach uh, the project. And the third part is now uh, what you saw this morning, uh, that they present individually their project to one tutor. And on one-on-one, -on -one, on -one, yes. the rolling program. Yes. So you've got the, produ the producing teacher spending half an hour, an hour with the student, and then the student will go and speak to the screenwriting. So they're very kind of condensed and, and uh, focused discussions together. So we're going to meet Ebolia from the Budapest, I think it's the film, theatre and, and drama school. Uh, it's the main school in Budapest. And she herself has worked in the film industry for, for many years, and I know that she, she's been very successful. Uh, and, and she's also worked within, I suppose, the genre of, of low-budget filmmaking within that. We're meeting her to perhaps explore some of the, I suppose, dialectics of our project about how do we represent the issues that we want to come across in the film without being kind of maybe too, too polemic or too um, overt within that. You know, how do we integrate our characters, our actors, ultimately, in, in a community? Because that's something that she's she's done successfully in the past. I know Jamie wants to, to kind of talk through directing strategies with her, but it also from a production point of view, um, I'm particularly keen to explore on, on her experience with her films and her background, how they um, achieve to, to essentially create um, cinema with fairly... I suppose meagre resources at different times, and that you know that's the reality of our project. We 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 know we have a certain amount of money, resources, and time. Uh, how to utilise those to to be um, successful in creating a film rather than um, you know a kind of more of a mess if we hadn't have kind of gone through that process. We have met Margaret, who is professor of scenario at the London Film School. Donc on l'a déjà vu une fois mardi ou mercredi, mais c'était en groupe. Et c'était des séances de, enfin c'était une séance de écriture sur les personnages, euh, déterminer en deux lignes ce que, ce que raconte le film, enfin un truc vraiment pour euh, essayer de voir c'est quoi l'essence du film, l'essence des personnages. Et donc on a décidé de la revoir ce matin individuellement pour euh, approfondir ça. Quoi. Donc avec d'autres méthodes, quoi, les méthodes anglo-saxonnes qui sont beaucoup plus euh, structurelles, quoi. C'est euh, plein de plein de petits exercices. Euh. Avec, avec tout autour du dessin, autour de, de pas mal de choses qui sont assez, euh, qui sont assez intéressantes, parce que nous on ne traite pas du tout comme ça. En, en France, c'est écrit ton scénario, et il l'est quoi. Il <rire> y a d'autres techniques, mais bon, c'est pas tout à fait pareil. Donc c'est marrant de, de bosser sur d'autres formes de, de méthodes. During the co-production market, we, with my producers, we met uh, about 17 other producers, mainly French, possibly co-producers and also sales agents and distributors and uh, it's um, it's just a very we, we had only a very few time a limited time with, with each producer so it's just a half an hour with each one so we mainly agree uh, in in sending the script the next draft in the end of January and if they, they interested still interested in the project we will contact them or they will contact us. So there are no, no decisions yet. It's just uh, a proposal or just uh, you know, the first meeting. I think one thing that's been very clear to me is, is how we can use what is already there in a landscape as part of our film. Because I think maybe before this we had some idea that we were going to try and create a lot of things, whereas that is really a style of filmmaking which is just not possible with our budget. And so I think one of the very strong lessons for me is that um, something that we really need to do with this project is work out how we can use the landscape, how we can use what is already there um, as a backdrop for our film in order to, because our film is all about a community and a story which happens within a community. And so in order to be able to convey a realistic and authentic sense of community, we are much better with our budget trying to tap into what's already there, you know, kind of what, what doors will open up to us in the community, what, what is real, rather than trying to this kind of Hollywood studio approach where we just create everything from scratch. I think we learned a lot about, how, about distribution, for example, or, or how to 
how to sell a film, and also how to communicate with the uh, other members of the film industry. And I think it's a really important thing for um, for young filmmakers, who we, we because we are all of us we are preparing for our first feature. We have no experience in this. Bah, du coup, là, ça nous a bien motivé pour uh, continuer à vite boucler un premier une première version de scénario. Donc voilà ce que disait Pierre Menel, on a 30 pages, on aimerait bien arriver à voilà, je sais pas, 100 pages d'ici un ou deux mois pour commencer du coup à vraiment à rentrer dans le vif du sujet, trouver des financements, aller voir des, des producteurs et puis commencer à faire des essais aussi avec les comédiens, enfin vraiment rentrer dans le vif du sujet. Quoi. Et cette semaine nous a bien motivés pour continuer là-dedans. Ouais, alors ça c'était vachement bien, c'est une bonne semaine de, de confiance.